So, uh, one of the goals I've had for the past few months, six months or so, is to start uploading regularly to YouTube. Uh, I used to do it more, and then I switched to programming as a job, and, uh, and I was kind of sick of teaching. But I'm trying to think of some new content, because just always doing song ideas gets a little bit boring for me to make, and I want to start, you know, making videos more regularly, but also to show people, like, it's good to just learn tab and then like pick a song, go learn it. That is a huge part of learning guitar, like half the process. But there is another, and a lot of other stuff you need to learn to become a good musician. And so the idea I had now is to show like something that helped me when I was learning after about a year was figuring out songs by ear. And you could do it earlier. I just, I didn't figure out how to do that. At first, I was just reading classical music, and then I was around more advanced musicians and saw how they could figure stuff out by ear. And uh, I think I just came up with the idea, like, well, I'll figure out stuff that I know, like simple stuff. Like, uh, Happy Birthday and uh, Star Spangled Banner. It would be a, more of a challenge. So, <clears throat> that's what I'm going to show now. So... Basically, what you want to do is you need to know kind of the pattern. You don't need to even know the scale. You don't even need to know the name of the scale or what the notes are, but you need to know the pattern. So a Star Spangled Banner is all based around a really common arpeggio. So we'll do it in the middle of the guitar on, on a E. And you don't need to know this, but put your pinky here. On 7, and then we're going to go 6 on the next string on D. 5 on G, and middle finger on 5 on B, and then first finger on 4 on E, and then pinky on 7. So here's the arpeggio. This one's really, really common, shows up all over the place. It's actually has that shape and that shape, which is the C shape. So what you want to do is practice that, but better what you can do is just copy me here, ready? First just learn how to go down those three notes. So like when you're learning, it might feel uncomfortable, you want to see the tab. And I'm intentionally not going to show the tab here, I might post the video next. Or just post the tab, link to the tab. But I'm actually not showing because the point here is to try to figure out this little shape and then I'll show you how to figure out the rest of the song off of it. Four, six, seven. So four, six, seven. Make sure you can do that. And that's the first three notes of Star Single Banner. It just goes down the middle of that arpeggio. So make sure you can do that. Ready? So you go down those three, and then back up, and then middle finger goes on five. So. Da, 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 da. That's the first bit of the riff. Then we go up to the fourth fret, which is part of that the full arpeggio I showed you. So then we're gonna go four, seven, five. So see if you can get the very beginning of the song. Like, pause the video now and see if you can learn up to that point. And you can know what Star Spangled Banner sounds like, assuming you're American, but even if you aren't, you probably still have heard it. But for Ameri- this is a video, I guess, is more for Americans who've heard the song a million times, so... That's where you need to get to before you can go on. Because the rest of it, I'm going to show you the notes that are around it, and you can figure out the rest of the song. So this is a way of learning songs that you, you'll remember it long into the future. Because you can just think, oh yeah, a Star Spangled Banner goes down in that shape. Which is basically a C shape. Look at that. It's just a C shape. But if you move the C shape up... To 7th fret. The reason I'm not teaching it down here is that I want to show how this is movable. So you can pick up a guitar and you can play Star Spangled Banner wherever. All right, so hopefully you have that. So, okay, now before before we go on, 
Okay, there's one more bit. There's one more bit before I show the next part. Okay. The reason I want to show this next bit, bit is the only piece that's out of the key. The key here would be E, but there's one note that goes out of the key. So, that's where I said to get to. And then you gotta put your ring finger, which is part of that arpeggio from earlier right here, on uh, six. And then pinky is gonna stretch, normally this would be in, in the scale. But you don't even need to know, there's a note that's gonna be stretched out right here. And this happens a few times through the song, so just, you gotta have that in your little vocabulary of the song. When I was just relearning this myself, because I don't keep like tabs in my head, it's too much effort and over the years you'll forget. I was like, oh yeah. And then I'm like, oh yeah, where's that off note that's out of the key? And it took me a minute. And, I, and uh, but then once I knew that, the rest you'll see is pretty easy. So you're you're back to here, and then you go down with your ring finger. So, so far, make sure you can do this. Pause the video again once, if you need to practice this part. Ring finger, pinky stretched, first finger, which is part of the arpeggio. So we only had a few notes that were out of the arpeggio. This one, and this one. Okay, so then once you got it to that point, the rest of the song is really easy if you know how to fill in the little scale up above. So put your middle finger here now, and then just try this. The pattern is six, four, six, four, five, seven, four, five, seven. practice it like that, or better actually is to practice it kind of like this. And then, what you need to do is just make sure that you have this little piece of the scale memorized. And that's a really, really useful scale that's worth memorizing. It, you're going to use this all over the, all over the place in, on the guitar, so it's this little tiny piece. So you can practice it like that. I, the reason I said practice it from here up and then back to there and then down and back to there is because this is the root note of the scale. It just sounds right. Or you could practice it from here, but it, it won't sound like the song. You could practice it like that. like. Okay, so then once you know that, the rest of the song you can figure out. And you might not believe me, and it might seem scary if you're used to re reading ta tabs all the time, but there, but if you've been playing for about a year, there needs to be a shift at some point where you stop looking at tabs all the time. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of scary. It's like taking the training wheels off because tabs give a sense of, of like perfection and it's kind of spoon feeding you. And I use tabs all the time. I'm not saying it's wrong. It's fast and easy, but it takes you away from using your ear and like intuition. So here we go. So, ready? so we, we know the beginning of the song goes down that arpeggio. Like do, do, do. Okay, then now you know the rest of the notes are in this bit up here. And then Da, 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 we got to there. And then the next part in your head, the bum, bum, bum. That's the one part where it goes out of the key, and you need to remember that as a phrase. So like I said, when I was trying to remember this to teach, I'm like, oh yeah, there's that one little weird part. Bum, bum, bum. And that goes out of the key, and that's... But now the next part, bum, bum, bum. It's in the scale. Da, da. So I'm using my intuition now of just having kind of feeling like how high up in the scale would it be? And then the next part, bam, bam, bam. 
In your head, you can hear that if you're American. Bum, bum, bum. That's going to get on the arpeggio. And then we start over. Da, da, da. So we know it's down the arpeggio. So if you remember that phrase, and then now the key phrase, and then just figure out the rest by ear. Which will take you a while, but that's the point. Da, na, na. Bum, bum, bum. The weird phrase. Bum, bum, bum. Bum 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 Then we go dun 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 down there because you I know the scale so dun 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 Bum, the phrase. Oh, dun, I guess this note, it's this one. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just going up and down the scale. I just figuring out where the note is to start is the tricky part. Dun, 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 dun. I guess the wrong one. So really, it's figuring out which notes would you start the next phrase from I mean, as you practice. So hopefully, like this is making sense. You can do this with any song. Like most songs are in a major scale, and you can just start to figure it out. It can be tricky to know which note to start on, but it's super useful. Like cause this one is just a good one because everybody knows it well, and it's fairly hard. So. But if you know the beginning phrase, it's not too hard. And what's cool about that is you can shift it somewhere else. Let's say you wanted to play it in the key of G. This is E. You can just move it up to 10. And then it's like, oh, the down there arpeggio. Then the bomb, bomb, bomb. Down the arpeggio. Oh, bum bum bum. So there's these little phrases you just have to kind of know, and then there's just going up and down the scale. This part I've just kind of memorized at this point. You jump up, but it's really just up the scale. This is the scale, and then there's this bit, and then the. So I basically what I'm saying is there's the scale. It's not a very big scale, it's just basic major. You're gonna, mastering that is worth spending a month doing, if that's what it takes, because it's so common. And then there's the two phrases. That and. And then people just stop on the notes and they play with a crazy tone. play like the full chord. So this ends on G. We're back here. Oops. <laughs> back here would have been E. Okay, so if you're a beginner and you watch this, you're probably like, that's too hard, I can't do it. Or even if you are good enough, it's very uncomfortable to, sit, to not use a tab. Most people are going to see this and want to tab, and <laughs> that's how they would go do it. I, like I said, I got to the point with the guitar where I realized uh, it was worth... The, this is... I intentionally learned songs this way. I would not let myself look at tabs. And uh, I would try to use familiar melodies that I knew if I was right or wrong. 
And uh, Star Spangled Banner is kind of surprisingly easy once you know those two phrases. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. And then once you know those other two and where the scale is, it's like the perfect song because it's hard enough where you can't memorize it really, but you, I mean, you'll get a feel for it over time. And then it's cool to be able to know this so you can just pick up a guitar and impress people. So you can be quiet until you remember it. But if you put some loud effects, it sounds pretty, pretty epic and it's easy to do all those things. You just stop on some notes and bend it. And if you have a crazy tone, it will sound impressive. And end the chord on, if you know what the key is, end it on the full chord. Like, e, e is a good one. That, that's another reason why I did it here. E sounds like the biggest chord, so. So anyway, uh, I hope people will try give this a try. And even if you're a beginner, you can give it a try. It'd just be harder. But that's it.